This is practice A for section 6.6. We're going to state whether a, a dilation using scale factor K results in a reduction or an enlargement of the original figure. So you're either going to write this or you're going to write this depending on what the value of K is. If K is bigger than 1, it's an enlargement. If K is less than 1, then it's a reduction. Remember, improper fractions are bigger than 1, so that's also an enlargement. Next section. Points A and B are endpoints of segment AB. Complete the coordinates of points C and D, the endpoints of image segment CD, after the dilation of scale factor K. That sounds confusing. So you have these two endpoints of a segment, and they give you a scale factor. So what you're doing is you're taking each x and y value and you're multiplying them by that scale factor 2. So the order pair 1, 1 obviously changes to 2, 2 because you multiply by 2 and multiply by 2. Do the same thing down here too. Uh, we'll do number 6 because it has a fraction and we know how you just love fractions. So if your scale factor is 3 fourths, you're going to shrink the figure. You need to multiply this by 3 fourths. 4 times 3 fourths. I'll just kind of write it out here. 4 times 3 fourths. 4 is really 4 over 1. When you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. These 4s cancel. 3 fourths of 4 is 3. So both of those are 3s. What's 3 fourths of 8? Well, multiply 8 with 3 fourths. Notice how the 8 and the 4 can cancel out. So you're left with 3 over 2, which is 1.5 if you wanted to write it like that as well. Uh, wait a minute. No, that's not right. I put the 2 down here instead of the 2 up here. That's my mistake. Sorry about that. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 fourths of 8 is 6. Definitely not 1.5. So even though I made a mistake, I was able to catch it by looking at the problem at the end and deciding if it was reasonable. And it wasn't. Let's find 3 fourths of 12. I promise I won't mess up this time. So you're going to take 12 times 3 fourths. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the 3 goes here with a bigger number because three, 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 12 three times, and 3 times 3 is 9. So C lives at 3, 3, D lives at 6, 9. Next section, draw a dilation of the figure with the given vertices using the scale factor of K. So here's point A and point B. They have them plotted and connected, so you have a segment, and they give you a scale factor. You're basically doing the same thing that you just did up here, except now you're going to graph it. So, um, I don't know. I guess we'll just call the dilation segment CD, just like we did in the other one. So I'll say that point C is going to live at 4, 0, and I'll say that point D is going to live at, multiply both these by 2, 4, 4. So graph both of those. Notice your scale. So 4, 0 lives here. That's your point C. Uh, 4, 4 would be here. That's point D. And that's all you do for this section. Uh, maybe we'll do one more. So that was an enlargement because K was larger than 1. Number 11 is a reduction because k is less than 1. So we need to find where all these ordered pairs map to. Um, I guess we'll use e. If you multiply 0 by anything, you still get 0. We'll use f. If you take 1 third of 3, you get 1. We'll use g. 
If you take one third of six, you get two. And no, we can't use D. E F G. How about H? We'll call that an H instead. Sorry about that. I know it's a little messy. Take a third of both of these, and you get one and negative one. Now you just need to plot those four ordered pairs. We have a zero zero, which is already there. We have a one one, which lives here. We have a two zero, which lives there, and then we have a one negative one, which lives there. So your reduction looks like this. And those figures are guaranteed to be similar. Next section, point A is a vertex of a polygon. Point R is the image of A after a dilation. Find the scale factor of the dilation. So this is where your point was. This is where it is now. What did you do to this point to get that point? What are you going to multiply these by to get that? 3 times something is 9. 4 times the same thing gives you 12. Definitely 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. 9 times something gives you 6. 12 times something gives you 8. This one's a little bit tougher. You Maybe you can't do this one in your head, and obviously you're going backwards, so that makes it a little bit tougher too. You can use algebra here. 9 times the scale factor is going to give you 6. 9 times some scale factor gives you 6. 9 times the scale factor equals 6. Solve for the scale factor. It's 2 thirds.